everybody and welcome to today's vlog. It is Vlogoween. Yay! I am wearing a cute sweater that I have like worn to death from United Monograms. It's got a cute little Sanderson Sisters Brewing Company on it and a cute purple Haunted Mansion bow band from Mini Maker. Still on my hair. I literally like had it in a bun and I just took it out and I was like, we're going with this. We're rolling with it. I don't care today. It's a horrible rainy day outside. It's super gloomy. We're just gonna go with it. And I got some cute purple leggings from Amazon. Yay, Amazon. <laughs> so today's video, Vlogoween, happy Vlogoween, by the way. Can we just start off with Doug the Pug's cute little thing for the first day of fall here? So cute. I like cannot stop reading this. It's like making my entire day. And we've got Bean here, just cozy. It's raining outside. He's like, I'm not getting up, mom, not happening. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a little unboxing. We've got a special Target order, and I also got a Bath & Body Works haul, but I already opened the box, but I'm gonna show you all the things that we got, because it's just so fun. All right, let's start with Bath & Body Works first. So we started off with the seasonal wallflower plugs. Y'all, for real, this is so cute. It's giving me all the Haunted Mansion, like floating lantern vibes, or oh, <laughs> lantern floating candelabra vibes. I'm like, yep, I can just see it like, you know. So, super excited about that. I'm gonna put this one in our guest bathroom, AKA Mr. Bean's bathroom. And then we also got the cute little haunted conservatory. It's adorable. It's giving me all of like, these things kind of remind me of like Little Shop of Horrors and then the rest of it's kind of like just Adam's Family House mixed with like some haunted mansion-y things. Like, oh, I just love it. And the pumpkins on there are so cute. We got the, this is like the most beat up packaging ever. Bath and Body Works, get it together. But it's the leaves fragrance. I don't even think you can read it on the front. I was so worried that this was gonna be like leaking when I opened the box, but it wasn't. They were totally intact on the inside. Just the box had been through some things, apparently. But we got the leaves fragrance. It smells super, super fresh. It's my favorite fall fragrance because it's just really light and it's not super overpowering. It is, let's see if it'll, if it says what it is on here. So it's crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Um, it's not super strong, which I like, and it used to be, I don't know if it is now, but it, before, like years ago, it was the fragrance that they misted through the store. So like when you went in the store, like that's what you were smelling when you walked in. And I just like it cause it's really fresh and you can use it like all fall long. It's not like just one time use kind of thing, but we'll see. I'm gonna put these together in the bathroom and show you them lit up as well. But this has gotta be like one of my favorite parts of the purchase. Look at this sanitizer holder that already has my hair stuck to it. Look at this sanitizer holder. It's a pumpkin spice like latte guy with a jack-o'-lantern. It's freaking adorable. Can we just, let me see if I can get the sanitizer out of here that I stuffed in here. That's one good thing about these. You think they won't hold this stuff like floating upside down like that, but they are, these are sturdy. All right, marshmallow pumpkin latte sanitizer. Can't go wrong with that. It smells so good. Ah, oh, that's so nice. And it's not like super strong. Like some of the fruity ones I feel like are so overpowering. Like you're left smelling like sanitized blueberries for hours. This is just a little lighter, which I like. So I'm excited about that. Mr. Bean's still asleep. You wanna smell this? Yeah. Oh look, movement. Yeah, it smells nice, right? You like that one? Okay. And then we got some fall soaps, yay! We went for the gentle gel hand soap. We got afternoon apple picking. I think that was Joe's fragrance of choice. Smell this. Oh, that smells like straight apples. Like if you just like put a bunch of apples and water in your sink to wash them, like that's what it smells like. It smells so good. And they're not using dyes or parabens anymore. I don't know if they ever did, but I'm happy about it. Crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. So good. This is the Harvest Pumpkin. This is my favorite. It's Harvest Pumpkin, Spice Clove, and Sugar Cane. And I'm hoping, oh yes. It's got that pumpkin-y, sugary smell like I like from like the Basin products. 
Look at this soap from Bath and Body Works. And how cute is this new fall little ambiance we got going on the front? Marketing, whatever. Packaging, label. And then we got blackberries and basil, which is our one of our go-tos for the kitchen. If you get sick of kitchen lemon, blackberries and basil is where it's at, y'all. This is fresh blackberries, sparkling champagne and basil. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's just this light, light fragrance. It's not like, again, it's not super berry overpowering. It's just kind of a lighter berry fragrance, which is nice. And it's not like wham in your face, which I just don't like. All right. I'm gonna show you, insert here, the wallflowers in the dark. See if I can get them. I always hate how they're like, have to like twist them in the other way. They're like backwards from everything else. Every time. Did I do it right? No. Nope. It's like righty tighty lefty loosey, unless it's a wallflower, then it's the opposite. Okay, that's plugged in. And here I gotta turn this light off the camera. There we go. Okay. Turn this light off. Ah, oh, look at that. It kind of reminds me of like the beginning of the old Scooby-Doo cartoons with the bats. Choo -choo, you know, and then they're like Scooby-Doo-Doo. That is so cute. Look at that. I hope it turns up on camera. I know it's not the best camera in low light, so we'll see. All right. Here. All right. So am I doing this right? I just did this and I'm going to do it wrong again. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now it's in. Oh, I might have done that a little too tight. Let's see what this one does. I think it's supposed to say Happy Halloween, but we'll see. It's just like the floating candelabra from Haunted Mansion. And look at the projection. Oh my gosh. This is just everything. It looks like the little eyeballs from the door. Giving me all the Haunted Mansion and Scooby-Doo vibes. I am living for this. Oh my goodness. How creepy is this gonna be when you have to like go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? You have guests are gonna be like, what is this? I love it. So cute. But now, we're moving on to Target. I think there's one thing in this box and it's for Mr. Bean. If he will wake up here. I didn't even open it yet, I just got here. So my mother actually found this, Bean's grandma. And said, you have to get this for Mr. Bean. And I was like, you're absolutely right. So, oh my God, this is so cute. What is it? It's for you, yes. Instantly gets up because he's like, oh, something for me. It's a pineapple costume. I'm hoping this is going to be big enough. I usually order like the extra largest in Disney wear for him. And this is a large, but I checked online and the measurements should work for him. So we're going to find out. But this is by Hide and Eek. This was $13.99. $13. Yes, we need this. Do we need 12 more? Maybe. That's so cheap. I feel like normally dog costumes are like $40. The spirit jerseys from Disney are like 25 or so. So I mean, this was a pretty good deal. I'm so excited about this. This is so cute. All right, let me see if I can get this all off and we're gonna try it on him. See if it fits. While he naps. And you're like, whatever, mom. Yeah, I just thought this was so cute. Mom's like, you need to take him downtown to the pineapple fountain and take pictures. It's like, we might if it cools up. It's been pretty warm. You know, if you don't already know, if you're new to the channel, we live in the south where it's pretty warm, very close to the coast. So there's that. All right, I'll take that tag off later. You want to try it on? What do you think? One thing I just noticed about this costume slash hoodie whatever you want to call it they have the velcro extra thick for the soft section so you can adjust it to like if you need it tighter or looser that's just amazing i love that man where did it go to target find that's awesome that's so cute it's seriously so cute beans gonna look adorable i know i'm gonna have to 
take you out of your blankie here. Oh, mom. <laughs> Can we just talk about Mr. Bean here being ridiculous? Well, it looks like it's gonna be long enough. Can you sit up for me? Bean. <laughs> Can you get up? Can you stand up, sir? Sir, can you please stand up? Stand up. Come in. <laughs> stand up. Let me try this on you. There we go. My hair is stuck to you now. Oh, it's nice and loose in the front. I was worried it would be too tight with his chest. Just like I said, a lot of times you have to order extra larges because he is a little chestier. Oh my lord. Goodness. You are so cute! Mr. Bean! Can we just, please? Say hi to the camera! Say I look adorable! I'm a pineapple for Halloween this year! You actually look kind of sad right now. Let me get those boogers out of your eyes, sweetheart. There you go. Sit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The hood's almost too big, but the chest fits, so we're just gonna stay with this. We're gonna give him some treats. These are the My Doggy Soft Bakes, apple and honey. Perfect for fall, right? He's like waiting to high five me while I get this. Sorry if the camera is looking at me. Do you love being a pineapple? Sit down. Sit down. High five. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Do you love it? I'm so cute. Say I'm so cute. He says more treats, mom. More treats. I'll do the outfits for the treats. Okay. I think that's going to be all for today. I was just going through a couple things. I saw Mr. Bean's Halloween costume and some Bath and Body Works haul. And we'll have some more vlogging videos coming soon with some more decor things. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.